interesting. So you guys didn't know that it gives you a hint on what the lobster actually sounds like in real life. So if you go to a whipping salon, don't think it's not itself. So if you're out on the forest alone at night and you see a whipping salon, and you ask, and it actually magic, I don't know, turns into lava stars, do not think of it as, aww, and then die for it. Seriously, don't ever think of animals, it's just cute. Wolves will eat you. Coyotes will just eat you. Lions, I don't know. Gotta be very careful of them. That's where Laura would take her. Yes. Yoder is with them. Oh God. Oh God, not Yoder. That is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Well, can you get us there? Nina and us are not Maybe. that hard. Near the ocean. Near the ocean? Sorkin mentioned the desalination plant. That would be near the ocean, right? Jerry, the whole island is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, oops. Right, but we pump seawater in from the lagoon. They must have built the marine exhibit near the waterworks. I think I know where that is. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. It's like we're... Actually, this is uh when Tim Murphy and... Uh, Tim Murphy, Ali Sattler, and... The rest of the people go offside the alley then and try to survive, isn't it? What was it like before this island? Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? You and Injun, I should have said. Yes. It is very dear to me. What am I just say? What's with Injun, you know? I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water. Ooh, fishermen. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. Ooh. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Enough talk. <laughs> this wasn't enough talk. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. These monsters. That's when you didn't know a single dinosaur when you actually came on this island. What does your name mean? It means little fish. You know, like the ones that have Uh... Oh, I didn't even get to select anything. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Engine came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Engine for a good deal of money for our island. Dennis Lansley, Oscar is talking about this. Then no was spared no expense. Spared no expense. Yeah. I guess the man who made all this. He runs in Jen. It's something he always says. He'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. It's not world, technically. Not on my people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. So before this dinosaur thing came here, there were just fishermen? I'm confused. He sounds like a brave man. Were you too close? When we were on the island, yes. We were always together. My father was What happened to your father, anyway? He sang for Sibo, who created the earth. He was very important to our tribe. Oh, she was a tribe. Keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. Seems like uh, going to be another talking episode <laughs> where we listen to all the people talk. Zebo. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. That's probably not true. For engines. My father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima, little fish, little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. Hey guys, but he would never be angry with me. Back to he would another. say that I am a fish who will never eat the my fish you spit. He was right. To, to me, here, everything has a string world attached. World. You remind me of Jess. I mean, that's how it used to be with us before the divorce. I'd take her to the museums or to the zoo. She'd always climb up onto things, you know, such a climber. She can't not climb over things, into things. Climbed into a tiger pen once. <laughs> With a live tiger. 
but not anymore. No, things uh, haven't so been the same off, since the divorce. I know there hasn't been so, so this guy, this guy is, was married to the character in Jurassic Park 2, Harding, in Jurassic Park 2, right? You know, pride, no temptation. Uh, the one played by Julianne Moore. Is that Harding? Sorry, I gotta have to pause the the talk. Oh, maybe I don't. Or at five minutes? I don't know. We are okay. I don't have to pause it. Okay, I won't be that grody, you guys. We can continue the talk. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Because they not talk. At the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. I want for Atlanta to be free. Atlanta? To have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the fish's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that. And my father believes that too. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes. It's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I would take her after this job. That's a good strong name. And a good city. So, okay. Uh, okay keep talking. Uh, look, I... What is it? I'm sorry about what InGen has done to your island. This isn't the way things should have been done. I don't blame you, Jerry. You're a good person. I see that. But I take my pay from InGen. I owe you something. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Enough Complete talk. Complete bygones. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Um. Shh. Oh, God. No! Oh my god, this is so absurd. It's not the music of the show, Jerry. Serious! <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. I knew it! Told you. Told you, don't go near dinosaurs that are birds in the middle of the night. They'll probably kill ya. Okay, I think we went to the lobster zone, which I'm never going back to. Well, at least you don't have to take a hike. But it looks like it's been spit on by acid. Why choose Invisalign over other aligners? <laughs> Only Invisalign treatment you... But anyway, uh, let's go over to the Brachiosaurus. So you guys 